Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 1 and 2, Part 1, Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior. When we left off, um, we did some more grinding off screen. Well, at least I did some more grinding off screen. As you can see, we're at level 13. Um, our stats are fairly larger now. And I have some new spells. Uh, stop spell, which is basically a silence type spell. Outside, which allows us to basically escape from any dungeon and return, which basically ta does like what a warp wing does and takes us directly to Tantagel. Um, also, I went ahead and ground up for a steel sword and the um, magic armor, which, as, as I said, is the second best armor in the game and also has, gives us um, hit point regeneration uh, every two steps. Um, so every two steps we take, we restore one hit point. Now, uh, before we leave Rimuldar, um, we've got to go to the key shop. And I totally forgot about this, but you can walk around outside the moat here. If you go too far from the moat, you will leave town. Gee, where's Rogo? He's late. Could he, what could he be doing? Who cares? I'm fairly sure it's not something very important. But basically, we just keep following this around. Until we go here. And this is the key shop. Be any weapon or armor that is powerful enough to defeat Draco Lord? Yes. We found some gold here, as well as a defense seed. I don't remember if we had a strength seed from before, but... Basically, if I hadn't explained it before, those seeds will raise our stats. Keys. Let's just buy as many keys as we can, because keys are very important. We can only hold up to six at a time. Um, they are stacked, so it's cool. Um, now let's leave town. And basically what we're, what we're meant to do next uh, is go to Garenham. But instead of just walking all the way back, I'm just going to use your turn. It does cost eight MP to use it, but that's okay. And before we start unlocking uh, doors in there, I'm actually gonna we're gonna head up to Garenham. Um because yeah, there's only like one key door we have to worry about in there. So I'm basically thinking about um, you know I want to use all of my keys in Tantagel. Uh, even though I'm fairly sure that there is a key shop in Tantagel as well that you can access with a key. Um, anyway, we're going to Garenham, so, shush. Um, we're basically getting a, um, quest item. That we are going to need to get, uh, one of the, uh, many, one of the main quest items that we need to build that rainbow bridge of awesome. Um, and, um, something that we need in order to be able to access it is up in here. Use a key to open the door, and then we'll talk to people. You're going to Garen's tomb? His harp is said to summon beasts. I wouldn't go if I were you. Kuh. When I was young, I traveled far south to the town of Domdura. The innkeeper treated me well. I wonder how he's doing. Well, if it's what I'm thinking, um, well, we'll see when we get there. All right, take advantage of me. The world's going to end anyway. I don't need to make any money. Okay. A copper sword we don't need. Torch we technically don't need because we have the Radiant Spell. And 630 gold. Hooray. We can use a key to get in here, I suppose. You opened the door, did you? Oh well, here, take this key. So basically all she does is give you another key. For wasting it. Tomb's entrance? I'm not at liberty to tell you that. If you must, if you must go, find it yourself. Okay. The tomb is up here someplace. There we go. And we just follow this way around here, talk to him. Nobody's ever returned from Garen's tomb alive. Go if you wish to die. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're fairly prepared, I believe. Uh, we're level 13, so I think we can handle ourselves. Alrighty. Let's just um, stumble around. I don't have like a map or anything out. I'm you know, just 
using walkthroughs to double check where we need to go, because the game really doesn't outright tell you where you need to go. Um, and I don't feel like wandering around for hours trying to figure out where to go, so... It's basically kind of a time thing, but as far as actual dungeons and stuff go, I don't have maps out for those. Kind of like in Baldur's Gate. Um, I've been kind of stumbling around uh, the, that dungeon that we're in in Baldur's Gate, but... Um, Actually, before I do re do record that tomorrow, I do need to check, <laughs> um, see where we're supposed to go, because I am stuck. Drachima. Haven't seen them yet. They're pretty weak. Um, some things that I had seen outside of Vermuldar include, um, werewolves, um, druins, which are, I guess, stronger versions of, of, of magicians. Um, there's metal scorpions which had some fairly high defense. Not too high to really worry too much about, but... I, I was getting, uh... getting the stuffing beating, beaten out of me at first before I leveled up enough to, uh... be able to withstand attacks enough to, you know, heal in between battles and stuff like that. Poltergeist. Or Poltergist. I think it's supposed to be Poltergeist. Um, there are a lot of stuff that was either renamed or shortened because of, uh, Game Boy screen space. That's why, instead of, uh, Erdrick, it's, his name is Loto, like in the original, um, like in the Japanese version. Same thing with, uh, Princess Gwalen being Princess Laura. I'm just kind of stumbling around here. But then again, that's, you know, the way dungeons normally are, unless you have, like, a map out in front of you, which I don't. I don't think there are any maps anyway. That's a door we'll need a key for. Okay, those don't do anything. I like how this, you know, armor is healing us up in between battle. I don't have to cast the heal spell as much. We're also facing off against some fairly weak enemies, too. Like, skeletons are a trifle now. I hadn't seen Drachimas or Poltergeists before here, but they don't seem to be too hard. As you can see, the Radiant spell is kind of uh, wearing down. Um, so I may have to recast that soon. But that's okay, it only costs, like, what, two magic points? I'll go down the stairs in a bit. I think there's some, supposed to be some treasures on the first floor that I can find. One of which is one of those, uh, those stat seeds. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, well, let's just go down. We can find this stuff, other stuff later. Oh, there's stairs down already. I'm gonna explore here. Oh, there's more stairs. This is gonna be one of those things where going downstairs in certain points will lead you to places that'll be blocked off on the next floor. I wager. Alright, so, let's just head down and see what's here, then. We're gonna get lost, oh boy! Well, the main thing we're looking for is that harp that they were talking about. And I'm fairly sure there was some Hydra Lord, uh-oh. No, oh, okay, <laughs> three damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that grinding in between videos did pay off, though, I will say. Um, that's, uh, fairly useful. Also, oh, Wolf Lords. And it's also useful having, like, some of the best armor in the game. And uh, We actually have, uh, I think the third best weapon in the game, too, is the Seal Sword. Because after that, there's the Flame the flame Sword, and then the last sword we get. And we're level 14... We actually did not get any spells for I think the last few levels I've gotten spells from. But no spell for level 14, I take it. Um, speaking of spells, let's go ahead and recast Radiant. Because uh, that's that, that got too small to be of any use to me. With that, uh, that light um, Radiant name drop on the spell, I suppose. Oh. This is a boring dungeon. Um, gray. 
this happens every time. It's like before you know, before I start recording, like nobody's doing anything. Then once I start recording, the dog starts barking, and everyone's talking all loudly because somebody made it sound like sound like knocking on the door, and the dog goes crazy after that. Another well, stairs up there. I'm talking about my dog and stuff because there's not much to talk about as far as the dungeon goes. I'm fairly sure that the other, you know, dungeons and stuff are a little more elaborate. I guess I guess more like in, I guess more more for, more relief so for Dragon Warrior Two. Oh, there's a chest. Got some gold. Um, what was it? Uh, for yeah, Dragon Warrior Two got most of the I guess most of the programming in it. Uh, Dead Knight. He's got a sword, and he's, like, angled it differently. <laughs> but still, he's a trifle. We're gonna have a lot of money for this. We're probably gonna have enough to buy the flame sword. Ooh. I recognize those panels down there. Those are, like, ouch panels. Um, and they usually surround something fairly important. I'm gonna head up to those stairs and see if there's another way down the Troll Magi. Now we're just getting into stuff that I've never really seen before. I mean, I've seen them before. I've beaten the game, but... We haven't seen them in this playthrough, is what I mean to say. I wonder if we can check these cracks and there's something there. Or Spectre. I'm gonna check to see if we can't, like, see maybe something in those cracks there. Maybe there's, there's a specific reason why they're there. Um, underfoot? No, there's nothing. Uh, where's the stairs? There they are. We're in a completely different area. I mean, if we ever need to, to leave, you know, there's always the return spell. Maybe these stairs will go to where the harp is. But like yeah, the the um the, or the outside spell I mean to say will take us right out of the dungeon, so we don't have to worry about finding our way back out once we find what we're looking for. But I'm fairly sure that there are other treasures that I want, so I may wander around for a little more, depending on what I find. Um, when the radiant spell calms down. It, Hard, much harder to see. It stares down again. Floor four. What's down here? Wolf Lord. Okay, same stuff as with the above floor, which is fine. I'm probably finally going to have a, uh, a video where I don't have to grind in between. Yo, I think those stores. There, those stairs down there actually. Stores. This, these stairs down here probably uh, lead to where the harp is, so, you know, what, uh, it's one of those things where you just have to, like, go down to a much smaller, lower floor first. Let me see if there are any treasures over here. Doesn't look like it. Alright. You know, I realized I had the, I just realized I had the uh, volume down the whole time. Uh, so I do apologize uh, if it's been harder to hear this particular part, but I had the, the volume turned down while I was grinding um, and watching TV, and then I just forgot to turn the volume back up before recording. And we're so close to the end of the um, video anyway that I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, these are not ouch tiles. There are similar ouch tiles, however, um, later in the game. I think they're the ones that have like that have like a diagonal line pattern on them, and these are just like tiles that are there. What's this? The shiny harp. But Rado has no more space. Um, what do I have? What can I get rid of? Oh, we can only have two pages of stuff. We don't need this copper sword. Yeah, discard the copper sword. We're not going to use that for anything. Yeah, we got the shiny harp. We can't read that, can we? That's Garen's tomb. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the video here, and um, 
I guess I'll look and see in like an FAQ or something like that where the other treasures might be if I want them or not. And if not, I'll just uh, warp out of the dungeon. But um, that'll be for the next video. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?